This is Open Mailbox. Today I'm going to demonstrate the basics of getting started working with the user interface API in Onset. Now, if you're not familiar, Onset is a modding platform where developers can create their own unique game experiences. If you're just trying to get started programming in Onset, be sure to check out my prior videos where we covered some of the basics. If you've done any programming in the 5M world, then Onset's UI will feel very familiar. You'll use HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to set up static web front ends, which can exchange data with the client side Lua scripts. Let's get started. We're gonna build on top of the hello world code that we wrote over the last two videos. So be sure to check them out if you need to catch up. Start by creating a new directory inside of your package for the web assets. Inside of the web directory, create a new index.html file. We're gonna be building a really basic pop-up window that shows up whenever you type the slash hello command that we've been working on in the past couple videos. And the index.html file is going to describe the structure of that window. So just like every everyday web programming, you're going to have a um, basic HTML document. It's going to reference a single style sheet and a single JavaScript file. The only difference here is that for onset, the URL that you're going to reference for your assets is going to begin with HTTP uh, asset slash package name and then whatever directory uh, whatever directory structure you set up. So in this case, hello world slash web slash index.js or CSS. The only other thing we'll have in our HTML file is a basic main tag and then an H1 header, uh, an H1 element inside with an ID of header. Next, create an index.css file next to the index.html file. We're going to set up um, really basic styles here. We're just going to make sure the text is white and it's on a semi transparent black background just so we can see the letters. Next, create an index.js file next to the other two. We're going to have a single function in here called update text. It will take one string argument and it will swap out the text inside the header from the HTML. This is where I take my 20 seconds of soapbox time and point out that we're not using jQuery here. You can do most of what jQuery does with vanilla JS, and then you don't have another bloated dependency for your users to download. So something to keep in mind. We're done with our web assets, so next we're going to create the client.lua file that's going to do most of the heavy lifting for this example. We'll start by declaring a variable that we'll use to hold a reference to the UI object. Then we'll define a new function on package start. This will be an event handler that runs when the package loads. Uh, the first thing we'll do is use the create web UI function to uh, initialize that UI variable. Then we're going to use the load web file function and pass it the path to our index.html file to instruct this instance of the UI to load our index file. And then we're going to use a few other functions after that, set web size, set web alignment, set web anchors to describe some other properties about the window. If you go to the developer wiki for onset, which will be linked in the video notes, you can find uh, documentation about those specific functions. Finally, we'll use set web visibility to set the initial state of the UI to hidden so that the user doesn't see it when the package starts. When you're done, don't forget to register the function to run when the on package start event is picked up. Now we're going to define a callback function because remember this command is running on the server. So we're going to need the server to send a message to the client instructing it to show the pop up. Um, when we receive that message, we're going to use execute web.js to call the JavaScript function that we defined in our JS file update text. And we're, and we're going to pass the message that we receive from the server straight through. Now we're going to use set web visibility again, but this time we're going to use it so that we can make the pop-up window visible. We're going to use web hit invisible context to indicate that we don't want mouse control while this UI element is showing. Finally, we don't want to have to worry about closing the window manually. So we're going to use a short timer. And then after three seconds, we will hide the UI window again. When you're done, we're going to register this function as a remote event, meaning we expect it to be called by the server. We're going to name the uh, event hello world colon show. On the server side, we only need to make a couple quick changes. We're going to take the message that we generate and store it in a variable that we use to trigger the chat message. And then we're also going to pass that as an argument to our call, rem or call remote event function, which is going to call that function we just registered on the client side as hello world show. The last thing we need to do is remember to update the package manifest with all of the new files that we added. So add client.lua to the client script section and then add our three web files under the files section. 
When you're done, it's time to start the server, open up your client, connect to localhost, and give this a try. Now, if everything is done correctly, when you type slash hello in the chat, you should get a brief pop-up window that says hello world, and it will disappear after three seconds. That's it for the basics of working with the web UI in Onset. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if there's some other particular portion of the Onset API you'd like to learn more about, let me know in the comments.